zombies of mass destruction, the After Dark Horror Fest. I actually really like this. It wasn't bad at all. Definitely, it's kind of zombie landish. Not really, but yeah, I, I liked it. Definitely one of the better After Dark movies I've seen. Got uh, this one at the yard sale as well. Suicide Kings. This is an awesome movie. If you haven't checked it out, watch that. Christopher Walken, uh, Jonathan Galecki, I believe, is in it. Uh, Jay Moore. It's just a good, kind of a gangster, kind of dark comedy in a way. Woo! This guy actually fell out. <laughs> oh well, I paid like two some two dollars for this yard sale. So, the Troll One and Two. I still need to watch these. Heard so many people talk about this. I'm not even getting into it. Burnt Offerings, Oliver Reed, and Karen Black. Uh, it's kind of boring. I've tried watching it like twice. I really want to get through this. I really want to see this movie. Uh, and The Sentinel. I got this from my buddy. He gave me this one too. It's really... Burgess Meredith. Chris Sarinan, I think. There's so many people in this movie. But uh, yeah. Now I'm going to move on to the VHS. Alright. Uh, like I said, it's probably going to have to be a two-part video. I think I'm running about out of time. So I'm just going to go through the... This is not a very big stack of VHS here, but... Not too bad. And I got a couple posters I just got in the mail today, so... First one, I still didn't get a chance to watch it, but I'm really psyched because it's really expensive on DVD. It's The Nest. It's a uh, new Concord release. Roger Corman. It's about, like, cockroaches, I believe. It's the bug movie. Definitely. Super generic <laughs> label there. It's The Nest. This one I've heard a lot of people talk about body parts again I haven't seen this one either I just got these in the mail like a couple days ago so Paramount Cape legit Paramount tape this one was awesome there's another one for uh, all those cheese fans out there Phantom of the Mall this is definitely awesome apparently it's a little harder to find a VHS than I thought it was I didn't pay that much for it, but, uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to search out the DVD, yeah, the DVD release of this, because this movie was awesome. It's got my name in it as well. So that was super crazy. It's Polly Shore in it. It's Fry's Home Video. I never even heard of that, but, uh, definitely check out Phantom of the Mall if you're into cheese. Just 80s greatness. That's all I can say. This one I started to watch, and it was right after work, so I was wasn't taking it at the moment. It's The Housekeeper. It comes off as more like a slasher movie from the label. Like, she cooks, she cleans, she kills. Rita Tushingham. Still got, like, this uh, seal around it. But, uh, yeah. Never really heard anybody talk about this. It's a Lorimar tape. Never... I want to really watch this one day. This one I seen a lot of people talking about this as well it's severed ties I'm gonna probably pop this one in right after I make this video actually I'm anxious to watch this this is who released this yeah well I don't even know who releases Columbia TriStar sorry severed ties this is the gem of the whole VHS update that is Fright Night 2. You don't know how long I've been searching for this movie. The DVD, they, you might as well cut your toes off to get the DVD. So I just went search for this. Even the VHS is going for outrageous prices, but I actually got this for about five bucks I paid. And that's a lot for a tape for me. I'm really cheap when it comes to VHS. But uh, this is just one I remember being, you know, watching as a kid and loving it. Always liked the Fright Nights. It's the uh, IVE release. Definitely. If you can get that, get it. This one was another awesome one. I just actually watched this tonight and I got that. It's a big box, MGM book big box of uh, The Devastator. It's a Concord release, as you can see. So, Corman. I'm just been on a big Roger Corman kick. But uh, it's one of those book box, big box things. This movie, it's just a cheesy 80s action movie kind of Rambo-ish in a way, like, just this small group of people taking out a large group of people, like, uh, 
these guys growing pot in a small town and basically just they think they can run the town but little do they know you know you got some nom vets some guns and that's all so definitely if you can get your hands on this I don't even think it's on DVD but definitely this is an awesome one been on a big cheesy 80s action kick but uh I'm just gonna go and show a couple of these posters I got so all right the first one I got I got a lot of four actually first one is the blue monkey video release poster now you're asking why'd you get another blue monkey poster man what the hell yeah well you know I love this movie and this is the video release poster I've never even seen ever on eBay and I love this poster way more than the theatrical poster actually it's just oh man I don't know just look at that take it in for a second it's like mint condition there's a bad bug going around it's very cool this is the actually this is the first one I bought out of the lot and that is good old Rambo 3 I love this poster so much this again is the video release these are all video release posters but uh man this is honestly this is my favorite Rambo movie I know a lot of people would fight that I mean I love the first one the second one's great but the third one there's something about it it's just so enjoyable it gets better every time I watch it just check that shit out very cool and this one this one for sure I know that a lot of you, a couple of you guys will really appreciate it JT of the Dead for sure uh, this is a video release poster for Munchie new Concord release oh man I love this movie so much it's just I know it's more targeted toward kids it's a Jim Wynorski joint I love Jim Wynorski movies oh man this is I just something about this it's so goofy and cheesy to look at this poster I love it though wow definitely really cool you can see my lamp I'm trying to get past the glare but you know can't so this one's also in like mint condition all right, and the last poster I'm going to show from the lot is House. It's the uh, video release poster as well. Uh, I got to cover up this light because it's a bad glare, as you can see. But uh, yeah, I'm a little bummed if you can tell right there. There's a tear, but I taped it, and you can hardly tell. It's just the fact that it's like an inch bigger than I thought it was, you know, from the description on eBay. So. I'm gonna have to wait and get a different frame for it, but I definitely love House. This is another one. As a kid, I just loved watching House. But, uh, yeah. As you can tell, it says House of the Video, because it's the video release poster, and, like, I know the theatrical cut poster doesn't say that, obviously, but, uh, I love this poster. I'm sorry, but definitely, definitely cool. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Again, thank you to all my subscribers. Hitting almost 400 is amazing. It really means a lot. But uh, definitely hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you. Oh yeah, before I forget, somebody else on YouTube wanted to see this poster for a possible trade or something. But uh, yeah, this is the It's Alive 2 poster. It's the original theatrical one sheet. Um, I believe there's another style, but this is the style I got. Um, it's in pretty decent shape. I mean, minus a couple crinkles and shit here and there, but poster is from 78. So, for a poster this old, this is in great shape that I've seen, at least. Um, yeah. So, thanks again, guys.